Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the design of complex logic circuits. So complex logic circuit, generally we have seen NAND gate, NOR gate implementation using different uh, realizations like NMOS realization and CMOS realization. So in this video I am going to explain about a different complex logic uh, design with NMOS and in the next video i will explain about uh, the same logic circuits with the cmos design as well so consider uh, some expression uh, complex logic circuit is nothing but a different logic function consisting of uh, uh, three or more inputs three or more inputs so let us consider a boolean function as some z is equal to z is nothing but output function z is equal to a into d plus e a into d plus e plus dc whole bar a into d plus e plus dc whole bar so here how many inputs are there total five inputs are there a b c d e total five inputs are there and all these five inputs are connected all the five transistors in the pmos and all the five transistors in the nmos are connected in a different configuration where we know already in the previous videos i have explained for product combination the pmos transistors should be connected in parallel and the same uh, nmos transistors should be connected in series <coughs> so here there are five inputs here there are five inputs let us use let's use nmos realization <coughs> okay uh, for instance you will see nmos realization first in this video in the next video i will explain the same with the cmos realization so nmos realization means what do you mean by nmos realization in depletion mode a depletion mode transistor so depletion mode transistor is in pull up so in pull up place a de depletion mode transistor is used which is connected between vdd and output only one transistor whereas the complete circuit realization complete circuit realization realization is nothing but a design that gives you the perfect boolean function whatever we have taken so complete circuit realization is done in pull down in pull down okay so now consider for product product n mos should be in series okay this is very very important because whenever you are designing with respect to nmos logic you have to know nmos as well for plus realization plus nmos transistors should be in parallel okay so with these two um, points we are going to design z is equal to this expression so pull up network consisting of one depletion mode transistor as i mentioned so one depletion mode transistor depletion mode transistor has a channel representation because of ion implantation channel is already formed and this vg vgg gate potential is no way required because of this depletion mode transistor is always said to be in on state saturation region we no need to switch on this again okay that's why it is a fed back with the source terminal and the drain terminal so that there is no potential connected between them and here it is vdd <coughs> okay now coming to the pull down network so what is the expression okay let us take the expression here z is equal to a into d plus e plus dc whole bar a into d plus e plus dc whole bar so first we will see 
a into first we will consider this part a into d plus a and later b plus b c for product what is the realization of the n mass transistors series so a into a into this is the transistor a this is the transistor with input a and d plus e d plus e these two transistors must be in parallel so that parallel combination must be in series with a so take like this two transistors with inputs d and e this is d this is e so d e now this is a so a into d plus e this is the realization for the first part <coughs> and the second part is bc bc we need two transistors with inputs b and c and these two are in product these two are in product so that product combination is a series combination is a series combination so series transistor we need two transistors in series bc that series combination should be in parallel with this existing set so that's why here we have to consider a transistor b a transistor c this is b this is c and these two now connected in parallel so parallel means ends of either transistors or two sets must be connected together this is this uh, realization for z is equal to a into d plus e a into d plus e in plus plus so parallel means plus bc so this is n mos depletion mode n mos enhancement mode all these are n mos enhancement mode transistors okay now in this particular uh, realization in the complex logic circuits we mainly focused on the width to length ratio okay width to length ratio or length to width ratio whatever you can take uh, whichever you can take you can consider so w by l ratio or l by w ratio so here w by l we can consider it as a load because which is connected between output and vdd this is w by l a w by l for transistor d w by l see any transistor is named with its input only so w by l b w by l c okay now if all the inputs are high when when this particular transistors are said to be in on state in nmos design if any one of these two inputs if any of these inputs are one then that particular transistor is said to be in on state if a is equal to one then a transistor is an on because nmos is said to be on when input is logic high okay so if all the transistors are having logic high as input then all transistors are on so then there exists a short circuit between output and output and ground okay so in that particular case we can calculate the equivalent driver w by l ratio equivalent driver w by l ratio of the pull down network okay when all inputs are high all inputs are high then the equivalent driver w by l ratio of the pull down network of the pull down network is w by l of equivalent is equal to c here bc transistors are in series bc transistors are in series so we can write this as 1 by 1 by w by l 
B plus 1 by W by L C plus. So, this is this set is over. Now, coming to this first set A into D plus E. Okay. So, 1 by 1 by W by L A plus 1 by this one. I will write here 1 by 1 by W by L A. <coughs> this is for the first transistor and the remaining two transistors are connected together. That's why W by L D plus W by L E. So, this is the total equivalent width to length ratio for the N mass realization of the given complex logic design like Z is equal to A into D plus E plus BC whole bar. Okay. Uh, in the similar way, we can also calculate the output uh, low level, output low level, which is always uh, uh, set to be low. For that, we are taking different different classes. Okay, that is of no use. Just uh, we are going to find out what is the width to length ratio relation among these transistors. So that is sufficient. Okay, thank you.